Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. This uh, video is on percent, uh, fractions, and decimal equivalents. So when we're talking about percent, uh, percent, first of all, means per hundred. So per cent is hundred, all right? So we're talking about parts out of a hundred parts. So 45% then means 45 out of a hundred. Now, when we're dealing with quantities, we can either talk about them as being one whole quantity. So here's one thing. We can talk about it as one whole. Or we can talk about that one thing as being 100%. Just two different ways of looking at a certain thing. So if we were looking at, actually I'll just do that on the next page. So then one whole quantity represents a hundred percent. And of course with a hundred percent we have a hundred out of a hundred parts. Now here's an example here we have a quarter of this circle shaded. So this quarter is 0 0.25 of this circle or 0 0.25 out of 1. If we consider this circle to be 100%, and this is the part that we're talking about, so the one quarter of this hundred percent, that is now 25 percent. So this part is referring to 25 percent of the whole, which is a hundred percent. And in this case, that part was 0 0.25 of a whole. And of course, we have four of them, right? So we have 0 0.25 here, 0 0.25 here, and 0 0.25 here. Those four 0 0.25s add up to 1, which is what this is. Here we have 25%, we have 25% here, we have 25% here, and 25% here. Not all adds up to 100%, which is what, what this is talking about. So basically, two different ways of describing the same thing. Now, let's just walk through some steps of changing. We're changing fractions to decimals, decimals to percent, percents back to decimals, and then uh, decimals to fractions, which is usually the one that's a little harder. So if you're going to change fractions to a decimal, first of all here's our fraction 3 eighths. And all you do is use your calculator and divide it. Okay, so we take 3 divided by 8 which is 0 0.375. Okay, so here we have 0 0.375. 7, 5. So it's fairly simple to change a fraction to a decimal. We just use our calculator. If we want to change a decimal to a percent, what we do is multiply that decimal times 100%. So 30, or sorry, 0 0.375 times 100% is 37.5%. And if you remember when we were talking about this, notice here we had our decimal 0 
And if we multiply it by 100%, we end up with 25%, which is what we had here. So this is essentially the same as this, just written in two different ways. One is as a decimal, one is as a percent. Okay. Now if we want to change a decimal to a fraction, that's the thing that takes a little more work. All right. So we start with 0 0.375. The first thing we do is divide it by 1. The reason we do that, or part of it is to solve this question, but we can take the number 4. If we have 4 divided by 1, it still equals 4. So we haven't actually changed this number by dividing it by 1. We're just dividing it by 1. Then what we do is on the top, we move the decimal all the places it has to be moved in order to get rid of the decimal. So in this case, we have to move it 1, 2, 3 places to the right. If you move the decimal 3 places to right on the top, you must move it 3 places to the right on the bottom. So with 1, the decimal is just to the right of the 1. Then what we do is we move, just like we did up here, we move the decimal 1, 2, 3 places to right. And I like to make a big fat decimal right there so I remember where it is. Now in these little egg cups, I throw in my zeros. Okay. So now we have 375 on the top divided by 1,000 in the denominator. Now what you do is you start reducing. So we'll take 375 and we ask ourselves, 375 and 1,000, what are they both divisible by? Well, the first thing that's easy to see is 5. Some of you may say, oh, I see 25 and that's okay. But let's say what we see right now is the 5. So then we say, all right, top and bottom are both divisible by 5. So I'm going to take my 375 and divide it by 5. So 375 divided by 5 is 75. 1,000 divided by 5 is 200. So this is, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice here, 200. So now we have 75 over 200. Now again, we do the same thing. We reduce. So we ask ourselves, what are they both divisible by? Now at this point, you may say, oh yeah, I see there's 25. They're both divisible by 25. If you don't see that, if you only see the 5, then divide top and bottom by 5. But let's try the 25. So 75 divided by 25 is 3. 200 divided by 25 is 8. And if it's hard to see with numbers, think money. 75 cents divided by 25. So how many quarters is in 75 cents? There's three of them. How many quarters are there in two dollars? There's eight of them. So we end up with a fraction of three eighths. Okay, so 0 0.375 is three eighths as a fraction. Now to change a percent to a decimal, so we have 37.5 percent, we want to change it to a decimal. What we do is we divide by 100 percent. Now don't forget units cancel, so the percents cancel. We take 37.5 divided by 100, you can use your calculator if you want, and that becomes 0 0.375. So we're back to the decimal that we uh, essentially started with. Okay, So that's uh, changing uh, fractions, decimals, and percents, moving back from one to the other. And that was brought to you by Wise Guys. 
and I hope you have a really great day.